What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be sharing my thoughts and predictions on this year's Royal Rumble. I know I'm really late putting out this video. I was supposed to record it and do it last week. So we're going to be doing it today because I ran out of time. So I have all the matches like usual right in front of me. Let's just get started here. Uh, first off, I'm going to start with the kickoff matches. So up first is the Cruiserweight Championship match. It's actually going to be a Fatal 4-Way, and I'm super excited for that. I was getting tired of the one-on-one -on -one matches for the Cruiserweight Championship because a Fatal 4-Way match for the Cruiserweight Championship is more extreme, and that's what I always think of whenever I think of the Cruiserweight division. So we have the current champion, Buddy Murphy, versus Akira Tozawa versus Kalisto versus Hideo Itami. So everyone all across the board is amazing. This is going to be one epic match. For me... I've never really been a fan of Buddy Murphy. Now that he's been the champion and how he's presenting himself in the WWE, it's starting to grow on me, except I'm still not a fan of his yet. I do like that he's heel. I do like his style and everything. But in this match, I'm just going to be basically picking who I want to win the most, who is my favorite, and that is going to be Kalisto. I think if Kalisto wins this match, he will project himself into not being in the Cruiserweight division anymore and possibly staying on the main roster on Raw or SmackDown and going for the Intercontinental or the United States Championship in the future. So I really want to see him win. That is my final prediction for this match. Next up is the United States Championship match, Rusev versus Shinsuke Nakamura. This match here for me does not deserve to be in the kickoff match. It deserves to be on the main card. However, if you looked at the main card, there is so many matches going on. One of them had to go on the kickoff match. That just makes sense for me. So this is the match that's going on there. For me, I'm a huge fan of Rusev. Always have been. I like that he's the United States champion. I just wish he would have won a couple months ago the WWE championship. I think that would have been awesome. But I think that's going to happen in the future. Anyways, this match here, the United States championship match. I do like Shinsuke. I like everything that he's accomplished. And now that he's not United States Champion, I think that he is going to be WWE Champion at least very soon. And that'd be something exciting to see. But for me, I'm going to say it is going to be Rusev walking away with this match. I'd really like to see Rusev retain the championship and hold on to it a lot longer. And that's my final prediction for this match. Just because I'm a huge fan of Rusev and I think he's going to be doing great things in the future. Now for the main card. I'm going to start off with the SmackDown Tag Team Championship match. It is The Bar versus The Miz and Shane McMahon. At first glance, I wasn't excited for this match. I'm a huge fan of The Bar, always have been since they have came to SmackDown, and especially been a fan of The Miz for a long time. But Miz and Shane McMahon being a tag team, I honestly, since they've been trying to make it work, at least The Miz has been trying to make it work for so many weeks, I didn't think it was actually going to happen, and if it was going to happen, I didn't think they were going to work together as a team. As of late, I think they're going to do amazing, and for this match, my final prediction is going to be The Miz and Shane McMahon win. I'd really like to see that. I think with the momentum they've been getting recently, I think that's something that's going to happen. I wouldn't be disappointed if The Bar was to retain the championship. I just think something is going to happen, and The Miz and Shane McMahon are going to walk away with the championship, and that is my final prediction. Next up is the SmackDown Women's Championship match, Asuka versus Becky Lynch. This is going to be one hell of a match. I'm super excited. Of course, I'm always a fan of Becky Lynch, especially now that she is the man. She is dominating SmackDown. But Asuka, that is somebody that I think is amazing as well, and I'm a huge fan of as well. For this match, I'm going to say Asuka is going to retain. That is my final prediction for this match, just because... I think Becky Lynch is going to get an opportunity either at the Elimination Chamber, hopefully an Elimination Chamber match to win it back, or at WrestleMania. I think that would be awesome as well. So this is my final prediction is Asuka. Next up is the Raw Women's Championship match, Ronda Rousey versus Sasha Banks. Now, recently if you watched uh, Kevin Hart's newest show where he interviews people, I think it's called Cold as Balls. Ronda Rousey was a guest on there and she stated whenever she came to the WWE, she didn't want to be women's champion. She didn't want to win a championship because she learned with the WWE, it's more of telling a story than having to hold a championship to be number one. It's more of telling a story and having the fans embrace you. With that being said, 
In my opinion, I don't think she wants to be champion, but I think WWE is going to keep it on her because of the hype. I would like to see Sasha Banks win it, but I think Ronda Rousey is going to retain. That is my final prediction for this match. Next up is the WWE Championship match, Daniel Bryan versus AJ Styles. I'm always a fan of AJ Styles, always have been. It's amazing to see what he's doing now, especially since he punched Vince McMahon in the face, how he's kind of excelled and pushed himself a little bit further. And I've never been a fan of Daniel Bryan, especially since he returned. I was in the old days, but before he retired. But since he came back, it was like he was get uh, it's like he was given everything, and that's what I've never been a fan of, especially now that he is heel. I don't like that with him. I think it is crap. I didn't want him to be champion in the first place. I would like to see AJ Styles re uh, win the championship back. However, I think Daniel Bryan is going to retain this match because I think AJ Styles is going to get an opportunity either at the Elimination Chamber or somebody else is going to win it at the Elimination Chamber or something is going to happen at WrestleMania. That'd be interesting to see. So final prediction for this match is Daniel Bryan. Next up is the Universal Championship match. Brock Lesnar, the current champion, versus Finn Balor. Now, if you agree with me on this, that's okay. I've never been a fan of Lesnar when he was winning the Universal Championship because since he started winning it, uh, he's basically held it hostage and hasn't been showing up on Raw barely ever. He doesn't defend the championship at pay-per-views too often. And to me, if you're going to be the champion, especially the main champion of a brand, you definitely should be defending it all the time. You should be appearing on every Raw or every SmackDown if you're on SmackDown. That's, to me, the logic. I think that's what the WWE should be doing. So the WWE shouldn't really have Lesnar as champion. Finn Balor, though, I don't know 100% if he can take out Lesnar or not. That is going to be one hell of an accomplishment. If he does do it, he would also be the first person to win the Universal Championship two times. So that would be very interesting to see if he could pull it off. My prediction for this match is going to be Finn Balor, and the reason for that is I think possibly Braun Strowman is going to come out and distract Lesnar and have Finn Balor win the match. I think that'd be interesting to see, especially since it was supposed to be Braun Strowman versus Lesnar to begin with, and Lesnar got pulled out of the match. That'd be interesting to see. Another thing that I think could possibly happen is Strowman come out and just tear Lesnar and Finn Balor apart, making it a disqualified match a no contest I could see that happening and then at Wrestlemania Lesnar versus Braun Strowman I could see that happening but my final prediction for this match I'm gonna say Finn Balor because I'd really like to see that and have him be a two-time universal champion next up I'm gonna start off with the women's Royal Rumble matches and basically how this is gonna work is I'm gonna pick for the women's Royal Rumble match uh, one woman from Raw and one woman from SmackDown. And I'm also going to mention some of the surprise entries that I would like to see in the Royal Rumble. So my prediction for my one pick from Raw is going to be Alexa Bliss. I'd really like to see her win the Royal Rumble. I'm a huge fan of her. Everything she's accomplished, she is amazing. And this would be one hell of accomplishment right here. My pick for SmackDown is going to be Carmella. Mainly because she is the 30th one. She has the last slot. I think she'll have something up her sleeve and she could go out and win this Royal Rumble match. I think that'd be so very those are my two interesting for the women's Royal Rumble match. And my surprise entries for the women's Royal Rumble match are Lita and Trish Stratus. Of course, I think they're going to be in it. They have been since last year, since the women's revolution. Matches like this, they tend to appear. And I think WWE might have Paige, even though she is retired. I think this would be very interesting to have her have one match where she actually wrestles in. That'd be very interesting to have her just one match only return and it'd be in the Royal Rumble. That'd be very interesting for her to do. Of course, she is retired. There is a risk of injury. And if she was to do this, it would be a one contract only. So it'd be a large sum of money being paid to Paige just to partake in this match. It'd be very interesting, but those are my three surprise entries that I would like to see for the women's Royal Rumble. And the last one here is the men's Royal Rumble. So for this one, I'm going to pick two people from Raw that I could see winning the Royal Rumble and two from SmackDown and then a few surprise entries. So for Raw, my picks are going to be Bobby Lashley or Drew McIntyre. Bobby Lashley has won the Intercontinental Championship and because of that, it might be tricky for him to also win the Royal Rumble. I don't think WWE is going to let him have 
both huge accomplishments in such a short amount of time. But if he were to win the Royal Rumble, I could see him losing the Intercontinental Championship at uh, Elimination Chamber, possibly. And then go on to WrestleMania to possibly take on Lesnar. That is something since Bobby Lashley has returned, I really wanted him to do, is face Brock Lesnar for the Universal Championship. And possibly by him winning the Royal Rumble, that might happen. Another thing that'd be interesting would be Drew McIntyre, like I just said. If he wins the Royal Rumble and Finn Balor wins the Universal Championship, I could see them colliding and that'd be something really epic to see. And my SmackDown picks are going to be Samoa Joe or Jeff Hardy. I know they're in a rivalry, but I think if either one of those are going to win, it's going to be down to just them left in the Royal Rumble match. And one is going to eliminate the other. I think that'd be very interesting to see right there. And my surprise entries are going to be Batista or Kane. I would like to see them both in it. Batista would be very interesting, especially since on, I think it was SmackDown's 1000th episode, Batista confronted Triple H and it was pretty funny if you have not seen it, I recommend checking it out. So I could see Batista returning potentially for a couple matches or maybe just one match. If he is in the Royal Rumble, I could see him going on to WrestleMania to face Triple H. That'd be very interesting to see. But as of right now, these are my predictions for this year's Royal Rumble. Hope you guys did enjoy. Comment down below who you think is going to win the Royal Rumble this year. I want to see what everybody's predictions are. These are my predictions. I'm really excited to see. Hopefully at least some of them come true. I really would like to see at least some of them come true. But I am going to leave this video here. Hope you guys did enjoy. I'll see you guys in the next one. Please take care. Peace.